All right, I've made it a grueling 3.8 miles into my 450 mile road trip. And I'm stopping right here in our local hardware store because I need to check the straps. Things have had a chance to settle in and I want to make sure everything's still tight. Looking good. I think I'm ready for the next 3.8 miles. speed and so far so good. It is kind of swervy, I have to admit. I gotta keep my hands on the wheel. Let me see if I can show you just how much it's drifting on a flat road with no wind. As long as I don't hit any super high winds in the gorge, everything will be fine. But if we do get wind up here, which is very common, especially farther on in the gorge, it's gonna be bad news bears. But that's okay, so far, 8.6 miles in, and nothing has fallen off. Columbia River. This is where it could start to get pretty windy, but so far, nothing much. We've come to the end of the end of the part of the trip that takes us along the Columbia River. It's a gorgeous drive, beautiful day. Next, we're gonna head into Portland. And this is probably gonna be the most difficult part because this is where the most crazy drivers live. I'm at a viewpoint on the side of the Columbia River right now, and over here is the biggest dump truck box I've ever seen, just sitting there. now and despite how it looks traffic is actually surprisingly good I thought it was gonna be worse than this well I guess the good news is that there's no more mystery I don't have to live in a state of wondering what's going on we've hit traffic now that is as I expect for the Portland area yeah oh hey We're at about the two-thirds point, about 180 miles from Grants Pass. And done with the Portland traffic. Next, we're coming to Southern Oregon. That's my home stomping grounds. And what we have to watch out for there, what I'm really concerned about, are the hills. Not necessarily going down or up the, up the hills. I'm not worried about power. But coming down the backside. This trailer is light enough already in the front that I'm worried it's going to start to fishtail. It's had a little bit too much weight in the back. That's why it's, you know, moving around so much. But hoping for the best. It'll be what it's going to be. Had to stop at the local Costco here in Albany because they've got great $2 pizza. 
And I figure at that price, that means it only has to be half as good as like New York style $1 pizza, right? <laughs> anyway, it's, it's a really good deal. Check out these birds behind me. I've been very curious about this for a while. Coming up on a truck weigh scale that's closed, so I'm gonna use the scales for a second and see how much everything weighs. I know how much the truck weighs empty, I know how much the trailer weighs empty, so I'm just gonna do a little bit of simple math here and see what we're at. Okay, truck, 9,200. Trailer, 9,800. Okay, after just a little bit of arithmetic that even I can do, Turns out I'm carrying four tons of cargo. Yeah, 8,000 pounds of household goods. How does one accumulate 8,000 pounds of household stuff? I just, I don't know. We're coming up to the little town of Canyonville, Oregon, which is pretty much just a big casino and a small gas station. But it does signify the first of the mountain, mountain passes I have to go through. There's gonna be five of them and they start in order of the easiest here in Canyonville and ends with the most difficult one, the last one that leads into the Rogue Valley where Grants Pass is, that's Mount Sexton. That's gonna be the hard one. But I figure I've got four attempts to practice <laughs> before the real test. <laughs> Okay, this is the summit of the first hill. Let's just keep an eye on the trailer on the backside here and see how it does. Overall, doing better than I thought she was gonna do. She's keeping it on the straight and narrow, so I really couldn't ask for much more. All right, <laughs> first hill down. She was a little shovy there on that second hill, but overall still nothing too bad. All right, the last two hills, no big deal. They were fine, but now we're coming up to the bad boy, Mount Sexton. This thing is just, it's just no fun. We made it to the summit. Uh, coming down the backside is a really nice view, but more importantly, let's see how the trailer does. Yeah, a little pushy. We had some uh, some pretty good bounces in there, but. Made it down. You know, it looks like it rained here in the Rogue Valley. Huh. Guess what wasn't forecast for today. I'll tell you, after the last 15 minutes, I'm way more awake than I would have been with a pot of coffee. But just 10 more miles until the parents' house and that's it, road trip done. But uh, I hope we get there without getting rained on because guess who did not tarp anything because he relied on the forecast. I know, that. That's me. That, that's my bad. Hey guys, 
I feel the same way.